Hello everyone, this is Gabcat242 and here's my review on the Marvel Legends, uh, I think this is the Civil War 2 pack. This is includes the uh, Black Panther and Agent 13 aka Sharon Carter. So it's kind of odd that this is being labeled in the Marvel Legends line because these are actually the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figures. And I mainly got this because of Agent 13 because I have plans on using this as a cover girl for my G.I. Joe collection. But I don't have a Black Panther figure in this scale so I was happy to get this. So two figures of I think Black Panther is new but uh, Agent 13 is actually re reuse of previous parts except for a few new parts which I'll get into later but let's look into Black Panther so overall he's a good sculpt um, he's not gonna have a whole lot to him he's mostly just uh, black paint some silver details but I like the design my issue is he's missing articulation which to me was important uh, he has no waist or ab crunch at all uh, there's no thigh swivel at all because if you remember in the movie uh, Black Panther was very dynamic and acrobatic and he, your poses is very limited in this guy so uh, also he has no wrist articulation so his hands are going to be in that stop, uh, state position but overall I think it's a good detailed figure so his head can move on a ball joint like that he has a shoulder ball joint right there and it goes up like that there's an elbow joint right here like I said and there's no wrist articulation uh, no waist or any ab crunch in there uh, there's a ball joint in the legs kicks pretty good up actually goes that far back uh, double joints in the knees and then there's a pretty good ankle pivot but like I said your poses are going to be very limited to like what you can do with him uh, I honestly would have sacrificed the uh, double joints in the, in the legs or the angle pivot for a good um, waist articulation because I just think it was just a missed opportunity. But overall, I like the figure. Um, so let's move on to Agent 13, or Sharon Carter, as she's better known. So I was mostly anticipating for this figure because I, at the time, did not know about his existence until I saw some articles online. And for the most part, I think it's a good sculpt, uh, but like I said, she's actually just reuse of a previous figure, which was that 2012. Was it 2012 or 13? Anyways, it's, it's she's basically just uh, the Black Widow um, reused again, except for a few things. So uh, the legs are the same. I think the arms are the same. The only thing that's different is uh, the torso is different. Uh, let's take a look. So she has a completely new torso. Uh, Black Widow is different and of course the head sculpt and uh, she has the same gun holster except uh, this one actually has a little more detail as this was just a plain solid black and she has the same guns too and um, I'm actually not too really crazy about these guns they feel very cheap and rubbery but I'm gonna replace those with some better guns but overall uh, Agent 13 actually has some of the much better articulation uh, despite not having uh, a waist movement so head moves like that on the ball joint there's ball joints on the shoulders it goes up like that uh, there's a ball joint in the elbows wrist articulation and again no waist articulation uh, that I believe is a wide joint in the legs so she can it's kind of those weird uh, hinges right here but you gotta have to force it to get up so yeah there's that thigh swivel and then of course there's double joints in the knees and ankle pivot. So overall I do like this figure so this was kind of the reason why I got this pack. So even though she just reused the parts I think it was well done. At least Hasbro gave us some new parts to make the figure stand out a bit. So this is actually a Toys R Us uh, exclusive but you can get it online on their website. So if you don't have e uh, either of these characters it's a must get if you're collecting it in this scale. I personally like it uh, even though I had some issues with Black Panther and overall I think it's a good two pack for what you're paying for. I believe it's like 20 bucks in stores. So if you see it, pick it up. If not, if, if, if it's not for you, I guess I can see why you want to pass on it. But other than that, that's my review on this and hope this was very helpful.